All right, y'all, welcome to Coming to Arms Channel. Okay, so today we are doing another ration review, and this is a pretty special one. So today we are checking out a daily field ration from Ukraine. Um, and again, being a daily ration, this thing is massive. This is easily the biggest ration um, we've reviewed on the channel here. But um, yeah, a daily ration. So daily rations, generally speaking, again, they're supposed to basically provide you with enough energy, food, and sustainment for about 24 hours. Um, with us here in the U.S., we have the first strike rations, which generally are like, you know, this, this big. Um, and they just kind of pack it with a bunch of stuff. But yeah, this is a big freaking um, <laughs> daily ration. I will say that. I'm stoked to check this out. <coughs> so of course, we've been checking out a lot of footage from the war over in Ukraine. And I can't recall if I've seen this ration particularly just kind of like show up in any of the videos because, you know, for the most part, they're assaulting the Russian trenches. So you've seen like kind of Russian MREs, Russian rations. But I am excited to check out what the fighters over in Ukraine are eating or what they have to eat kind of at their disposal. Um, there's, there's a lot of things on here. There's 38 um, different items, maybe not necessarily different, but 38 items in here according to this kind of um, list here. And additionally, it says Armed Forces of Ukraine, Daily Field Ration. Um, so it says DPNP-R-8-14. Not sure what that means exactly. And then it's kind of got it in Cyrillic on the back. So, I mean, this is gonna be a lot to check out since it is a daily ration, kind of a 24 hour ration. So um, we'll just go ahead and get into it. Again, I'm super stoked to have been sent this. So let's get the sucker open. Of course, we have to use kind of the AK bayonet there, but I don't know if my table is big enough to kind of fit everything. It looks like there are some doubles. So, well, maybe not. Some things that are pretty similar. So if there are some things that are similar, uh, maybe we can kind of just do like one thing at a time or kind of do it, you know, in like um, stages or waves. Um, also, don't swing knives around like this. Not very smart, but you know how we do it. All right, so let's get this sucker open. Try not to destroy it too much because this is pretty cool to just have in general. It smells very dusty, I will say that. All right, so got it open. And let's see, so it's broken down into three. I guess these are just like the pretty standard ration. So it's broken down into these three rations here oh my god this one is super heavy and that's pretty much it this is just like the case for it so we'll just kind of set that off to the side and we'll just open these up individually so this is the breakfast ration here we have the supper ration and then dinner i'm not really sure like growing up i've always called dinner supper um, and then kind of in between breakfast and supper was lunch. So I don't know if dinner and supper is just like a different thing in, in Europe or something, uh, but that's interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the breakfast ration, um, which feels for whatever reason, like the, the newest and also the lightest. So let's get this cut open and then see what do we have on the inside? Yeah, the bayonet kind of sounded cool like it made sense, but um, it's not that sharp anymore. I've beat the crap out of this, if you've seen my uh, shorts. Okay, so let's start getting everything out. So we have the sort of main meal here, which is, uh, okay, so I'm gonna have to try and just look on here. So I guess like the different menus are R8, R9, basically R8s through R14. So we have the R8 and that one comes with rice porridge with chicken vegetables and sweet peppers. Um, that's kind of interesting. Chicken vegetables and sweet peppers is really not something that you'd see in like a breakfast item, um, you know, in, in the US, at least the chicken especially, but rice porridge, with that stuff sounds um, interesting. I don't know how to eat that. I would imagine you can kind of just eat it cold. And I don't know if heating it up would be the move, but okay. So we have that. What else? We have 
some, so kind of like some, some crackers here. So this is listed as hard tacks from first grade wheat flour. So kind of just what, four thick crackers. They're very thick. And then this doesn't really have a whole lot in it, to be honest. All right, so set that off real quick. So we have some, looks like sugar, potentially salt. Okay, so we have some instant coffee. So of course we're going to try that. We have some, I'd imagine this is kind of just like sugar. Yep, and then we have, I think this is the salt. Yeah, so one, one gram, so we have some salt. We have, I guess these are just the moist pellets and then we just have the spoon and the napkin. I gotta say, for a breakfast, oh my God. I'd be very, very upset. I mean, the coffee, you know, I'll take the coffee and the sugar for sure, um, but just the crackers and then this kind of rice porridge. Uh, again, I don't know. I need to maybe look up how you eat porridge, if it's like a hot thing or a cold thing, but there's no like flameless ration heater. I imagine they might get like issued their own kind of like mess kits. Um, but before we try that, I mean, let's just go ahead and start trying some stuff out. If we do have some doubles and some of the other stuff, I'm just going to kind of like skim over. So if we have the hard tack in the other rations, I'm just going to skip over that. Same with the kind of coffee and whatnot. Um, but I will keep kind of the general theme. So coffee, it's definitely a breakfast thing. So I'm going to eat it with this breakfast portion here, but let's go ahead and try this hard tack. Calling it hard tack is not um, too enticing. I'll say that much. It reminds me of like some Civil War cracker that somebody has like found like Steve, his videos on YouTube where he just found like a hard tack and somehow like reconstituted it and ate it. Okay, so. Oh my gosh, that was like the driest, blandest smell ever. Um, but it just looks like a pretty standard, you know, kind of cracker really nothing on it um, at all, like no salt or anything. So this is first grade wheat flour. So, I mean, I guess there's that. I mean, there's not really a whole lot I can put on it. So let's just go ahead and take a bite. Oh, um, so I was expecting it to be crunchy for whatever reason, uh, I guess just cause it was kind of like cracking off like at the top layer, but yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty soft. It's got like some give. Um, the flavor is not horrible. Uh, but it is very, very bland. So if there is something else in like one of these other meals to add to it, that'd be great. Um, or maybe you can eat it with the rice porridge and stuff. But um, yeah, by itself, it's uh, not, not too great. I'll take another bite, I guess. But um, it's not horrible. Just nothing special about it. Okay, so um, let's just go ahead and crack open this rice porridge and see... Um, if maybe heating it up might be the move, but I'm fine with just trying it cold, especially since that's kind of what you have to do a lot of the time. <sighs> oh, fuck. <clears throat> Wowee. It's like, I'm almost wanting to like gag um it, it does it doesn't smell that bad it smells kind of just like if you get like the can of like the chicken breast or whatever like the white meat it kind of just smells like that which is a little bit off-putting because it's kind of like gooey chicken and stuff but uh, yeah okay it's it's not so bad so that's kind of what it looks like i think it would be better hot to be honest i mean especially when you're talking about like chicken and stuff um but i'm just gonna go ahead and send it and see how it is cold i mean the flavor should still be pretty much the same it's more of just like the enjoyment of it being cold and you know hot so i don't know let's try it i got a little bit of chicken i got i think a little bit of the veggies but let's give it a shot i mean it's not bad the porridge is a little weird. The chicken is good though, but I think like with some salt, which I hope this is salt and not sugar. It looks like it, but I think if I add some salt, it'll be pretty freaking, pretty freaking bomb. I mean, just like with the chicken at least. The porridge 
It's kind of just like a method of delivering the chicken, if that makes sense. The salt is definitely the move. Um, I don't think you even really need to have this hot, to be honest. It, it would feel weird eating this as like a breakfast item, but I mean, with the salt, it's it's already good cold. The smell was a little off-putting at first, but yeah, it's, it's really not bad. I mean, that salt is... Um, yeah, definitely the move. I kind of want to give a rating to each item that we're seeing here. Hardtack, I'd give that like a 2.5, maybe. Um, really nothing too special about it. This with the salt cold, um, yeah, I'd give it like I'd give it like a seven. It's 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 not bad actually. It's it's pretty good with the salt. Um, I mean, nothing is really like standing out as being like off putting once you start eating it and stuff. The textures are fine. Um, chicken is good. It's nice and tender and stuff. So yeah, as far as like, um, an item to eat is nice. Again, just as a breakfast item, Americans, we kind of usually have a lot of stuff that's like generally sweeter. Um, so it kind of falls into that theme, but this is still good, uh, kind of as a food item by itself. So yeah, I give it a, I give it a seven out of 10. Okay. So I lied. I'm going to do the coffee later. I'm going to do all the drinks together just because like, I don't want to be like getting up and then coming back and then getting up. So we'll do all the drinks later. Okay. Cool. Okay, moving on. I don't know what comes first, dinner or supper. Um, and I'm not gonna look it up. I'm just gonna say that dinner comes first. Okay, so we have menu number R8. So this is going to have, it's gonna have some hardtack, some biscuits from, okay, let's just go ahead and open it before I just start reading everything off. I'll take the stuff out and then I'll just go here and reference and kind of explain what that's supposed to be if it's not totally apparent already. All right, cool. Ooh, okay, something, something exploded or at least some salt exploded. Okay, so we have, this looks like the biscuits from rye bran flour, I would imagine. It's just like really hard kind of bread, but okay. Um, we have, this is one of the bigger items. There's two. Oh yeah, that salt went everywhere. I think it's salt, but thanks. Okay. Um, so we have two big things here. So let's try and, okay, this is, this is actually like sensory overload right now. I'm going to try and wipe this off. Breaking into the, hopefully this is a wet towel. Yeah. Okay. It is sweet. All right. So let's try and wipe this down real quick. Cause that's, <clears throat> Ooh, there. Dang. <clears throat> Holy shit. That's a really strong smell. Their hand wipes or whatever smell really good, actually. Okay, whatever. I'm just accepting there's going to be a mess here. Um, so we have beef borscht. Borscht. Uh, I'm like the worst at saying that. Borscht. I think I'm saying it fine. Whatever. And then we have pot barley porridge with pork, vegetables, and green peas. So those are the two big things. Okay, so this is the borscht right here in this retort packaging. So we'll throw that over there and then we have um this other porridge so we'll throw that right there right there actually we'll do that all right let's see what else we got um we have more of the hard tack um i'll just leave it here for like presentation for now but again i'm not going to try that again oh snap what do we have here oh hell yeah we have some english breakfast tea the brand is quality quality okay that's <laughs> That's like annoyingly punny, but okay. So we have quality English breakfast tea. Always nice to get some tea in a ration. Ooh, snap. We have some, looks like some cherry sort of um, jam or something. Let's see. Yeah, cherry jam. Nice. Um, you know, so we'll have that. We'll have some of the hard tack and then some of the bread with the cherry jam and see if that's like redeemable at all. And then we have some, which one is open here? I don't know. If, the sugar looks fine. I think one of these, yeah, one of the salts exploded, but there's, there was, there was two salts. So I'll take the other salt out and then we have another hand wipe and a spoon. Okay, so let's try this cherry jam out and then we'll try that with the hard tack first. And then we'll also try it with that, what do they call it? With the biscuits from rye bran flour. Um, yeah, it doesn't sound great still, but Okay, so let's try. I'm not a huge fan of cherry flavored stuff for whatever reason. Um, I was trying to smell the cherry, but all I smell is that really, really strong hand wipe. 
Um, so yeah, definitely try not to have the hand wipe too early on because if your hands smell like hand wipe um, cleaner or whatever, it's gonna be kind of hard to look past that or I guess taste past that if you're taking a bite and then just smelling all that. Okay, so the hard tack with the cherry jam there looks pretty good. I still can't smell it. Oh my God, that hard tack went right through uh, everything else, that smell. Oh yeah. I was a little bit concerned there for a second. The cherry was like kind of more sour than I expected, but then it turned a little bit sweet. So we're good on that. The hard tack um, is just terrible. It really is just, there's, there's no redeeming it to be honest. Um, so I'll try this by itself and then we'll try it with the uh, cherry jam. These are very, very hard and crumbly, but let's give it a shot. Are you supposed to like fucking rehydrate this or what? Why is it so hard? Is it expired? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of rye um, for whatever reason. I know that's pretty popular in Europe, but um, I don't know. It's just like a really weird kind of profile, flavor profile for bread. I'm just used to kind of more savory bread or maybe even more salty. And rye just has like a wheat, weird like sweet tinge to it, kind of makes it taste spoiled in a weird sense. Right, Yeah, that's awful. Wow, we. Um, I really don't know if you're supposed to like hydrate this. Um, you guys tell me. You guys tell me a lot of stuff that, you know, I'm like, yeah, that would make a lot of sense, you know, if I did it like that. Um, but with this, I mean, I don't know what you're supposed to do. I don't know if it's supposed to be this hard, um, but if it is, I don't know how you're supposed to like rehydrate it. Maybe like throw it in some water or something and it'll be okay. Um, but just tedious. Anything that requires more water is um, definitely not preferred when you're out in the field and you have to kind of deal with that. All right, so I'm gonna take my English tea. I'm gonna put that off to the side as well. All this stuff I'm just going to put over here. Okay, uh, the rye. I'd give that like a, a, a zero out of 10. It's There's nothing great about it whatsoever. Um, and again, I don't know if it's supposed to be that hard. If you guys are from Ukraine or if you had the ration, <laughs> let me know. Let me know if I'm just not doing something right. Um, that's always really funny for me to check in the comments. But um, yeah, that's um, not great as I'm enjoying it, enjoying it right now. Uh, a cherry jam is actually kind of hurting my stomach too. Okay, so let's try this. Borscht. I don't know if I've ever actually had borscht. Of course, I'm sure it's going to be a lot better hot. I don't think you're generally supposed to enjoy it cold, but you know, if it tastes good, it tastes good, you know? Oh my God, that stunk so fucking bad. Wow, we, oh, holy shit. It's like, uh, it's that fucking weird smell where it's just like, something just smells like slightly too bad where you're not like quite gagging, but you kind of want to just go back and smell it again and see if it's like gonna get any better or get any worse. I don't know what borscht is made out of. I think it's got like a lot of potato and stuff in it. But that is, ooh. Like if you see like prison movies and they're like, give them the gruel. This is like, this is the gruel. Oh shit, okay. Um, uh, all right, I'm gonna have to compose myself here and just send it. <sighs> Hopefully it tastes better than it smells. Um, let's just do it. I'm smelling it more and I'm like on the verge of gagging, but. Okay, it tastes better than it smells. And that's because like I'm, I'm starting to taste the potatoes. You don't really smell potatoes, if that makes sense, but kind of tasting it, you know, I at least have that familiar scent. What in the fuck is this? Uh, so there's a giant kind of meat clump here. I'm not gonna eat any more of this. I feel like I'm actually gonna fucking puke. I don't know why it's, I don't know why it's like so offensive to like my nose, 
but this is not something I would eat ever. Whew, holy shit. Okay, that was fucking, okay, that was, um. ooh. Okay, not a fan of borscht. Uh, I'm, again, it is like an MRE borscht and it is cold. I'm sure, again, it, it can get better. Just not like the flavors that I like and the smell was just, it kind of set me in. Um, I don't think I was going to be able to enjoy that after that initial three smells, I guess, because I kept going back. Um, okay, so we have some more. This is rice porridge, but let's see what this has. Okay, so this isn't rice porridge. This is pot barley porridge with pork, vegetables, and green peas. So pot barley. I don't really know a whole lot about barley specifically. Um, it kind of looks almost like a quinoa in a, in a sense. I, I couldn't even tell you what like barley actually look like but okay so i can see the vegetables it's got what pork and stuff in there so yeah pork vegetables and green peas okay so i don't think this is gonna be too bad the pork looks pretty tender already so let me just get some of that i got some of it with the pork and the green peas and the veggies so all right it, it smells way better than that borscht uh, i'll just go ahead and say that right off the bat it's got a better texture than the um, the rice porridge in a weird way. Kind of like um, more dense, I guess, less like jelly or kind of gooey-like, um, at least cold. I'm sure, again, both of these hot, the consistency would change a little bit, but this looks like it's got a little bit more meat kind of just in the mix and everything just kind of works a little bit better with that barley. Ooh, okay, so I would give this, I think I gave that a seven. I'd give this like a 7.4. Still not like something I would like pick up or want to pick up over some other things. Especially if I heated this up, this would be like a pretty reliable thing I could pick up and pretty much eat from start to finish, you know? I mean, there's a lot in here, but you know, it's got, it's got a good flavor to it. And I'm a big texture guy, so like the texture is not off-putting. The smell, again, when you open it and it just fucking stinks like that borscht, that's gonna be off-putting. And the texture sometimes can be a little bit off-putting, but even cold, like this, this works pretty good. So yeah, seven. 7.4, and again, I didn't even add the salt. I imagine it's going to just be better with the salt, but without the salt, um, yeah, it's it's still pretty solid, so. Yeah, uh, oh my God, that borscht. Whew, that was really gnarly. Where's like the happiness though? Like, there's been nothing like sweets, there's been like no granola bars, no chocolate, nothing so far. The supper one, um, I thought the supper was going to be the heaviest actually, but I think the dinner one was. <sighs> um, let's see, I'm not even sure if any of these have any sort of, yeah, it looks like there's really just no chocolates or anything sweet in any of these. That's unfortunate. You gotta have like something that's like enjoyable, you know? Like something to look forward to. Like in our rations, we got like little Twizzler freaking bites. Those are pretty freaking bomb. You got M&Ms, you got peanut M&Ms, you got Skittles, sour Skittles. I mean, like some good options, some stuff to like get excited about. But yeah, not so much in these. Um, and again, a lot of these have kind of the same items, at least with the hard tack. It would be kind of nice to get a little bit of diversity. So like, even if you, you know, it is dinner time or supper time and you kind of want to just like change it up a bit because you know right now you're kind of feeling something a little sweeter um, or you know what have you you can kind of at least mix and match um, but having kind of like the same thing it wouldn't be fun for breakfast eating hardtack and then for lunch or whatever eating hardtack and then eating hardtack again for dinner or supper or whatever um, so that's yeah that's not too fun but okay supper Let's see, let's see how the supper is. Um, as long as there's no more borscht, I think we'll be all right. <sighs> okay. Oh, snap. Okay, so we got some more, we got some more quality. So throw that over there. Hopefully the tea is pretty bomb. Oh, we have some, looks like some Meg, Meg, honey. Okay, honey would be cool. I know a lot of people have honey in their tea. Um, I'm personally not a fan of that. Oh God, we have more hard bread. Biscuits from first grade. Fuck me, what is this? Okay, the other one was from rye bran flour. This is from wheat flour, okay. Um, I mean, it's still hard as fuck, so it's probably still gonna hurt my teeth, 
but um, hopefully it tastes at least a little bit better. Okay, so let's see, we have, ooh, we got our favorite. That's fucking miserable. Like, keep the hard tack. Just, just get rid of it, actually. It's just not great at all. Um, I'm starting to realize why people, like, whenever we see the fighters, they kind of have their own meals. <laughs> Um, and I'm sure there are some menu items that are a little bit better than this one. Uh, I might have just gotten like a shit one, but I mean, I mean, again, there's really no like sweet items on any of these different types of jam. Um, so there's that you got black currant apricots or apricots, even for the breakfast, there's really nothing sweet. Um, Again, I am American, so I'm just like used to having some sweet stuff, but I mean, it's just, it's, it's nice to have, you know, when you're talking about a ration or a combat ration, when you're just out in the field in the suck, like people don't really care about eating too healthy as long as it provides the general nutrients, carbohydrates, protein and such that you need to keep going, add some flavor in there, add some stuff to kind of, you know, help with the happiness at least. Okay, so we have, let's see what we have here. This is potatoes with pork vegetables and mushrooms. Okay. I mean, I, I fuck with potatoes. Potatoes are always good to go. Um, okay, well, um, the hard tack, I'm not even gonna try that with the honey because it's just not gonna be good. I'll try the honey by itself because I don't think the honey is going to improve this either, but good honey is good honey. So that's always kind of nice to have at the very least. And it's kind of crimped. So when you, in theory, yeah, when you pull it, you can just squeeze it and get kind of like a little spout there. So that's kind of nice. Oh damn, that's some good fucking honey. It's really like, um, it's not as clear as like normal kind of honey. I'm not sure necessarily like what kind of really natural honey looks like versus like the stuff that you see in like the bare bottles or whatever. Like if the processing makes it a little bit more kind of transparent, but this is, um, it's got, it's kind of like grainy and it's kind of just a little like more opaque, if you will, but. Oh, good and very sweet, but not like gross sweet. Like some honey is just like kind of gross sweet. This again with like the texture, is really freaking nice actually. This is like some of the best honey I've ever had. Nice little hidden gem. This is, I guess, one of the sweetest things you can kind of get as like a pick me up in kind of what we've seen so far. Okay, so let's try this um, very hard biscuits. I mean, just like, man, our wheat snack bread in our rations freaking slaps. I remember when I had it for the first time, I was like, this is like bomb. It doesn't even like really taste like bread, but it's just like, I don't know. It's got like its own thing going on. Kind of like sweet, but it's like soft, but also like kind of thick or dense in a weird way. Um, this is just, I mean, it's just, it's like croutons, but even harder. And um, hopefully with, I don't know. It, it seems like it's probably gonna have less flavor, but let's just go ahead and try it. I feel like I just, collected all the dust in the room and then solidified it and took a bite out of it. And I should you not, when I bit into it and it crunched, it like stopped my brain for a second. Like that crunch went like deep. <laughs> um, again, yeah, I'm not sure if you're supposed to like, if there's a better way to eat this, like throw it in some water or something. Um, but Bro, just like, I don't know, make it make it like soft or something. Make it like shelf stable and soft, but <clears throat> it's just not good. Again, it's better than the rye because I'm just not a fan of that kind of rye flavor. Um, but yeah, it's just not, it's not good. So the last thing is that potatoes with pork, vegetables and mushrooms. Um, and what, what do we have? We got some more ch -ch -ch coffee or something. Where's the, is there a drink? I'm not sure if this one even had a, okay. Oh yeah, I had the tea. Okay, all right, we're good. Okay, um, okay, well, let's try this. Potatoes, again, potatoes are good. Eh, okay, it looks, looks fine. Smells good. I mean, these all kind of smell pretty similar. It's just like a slight variation with like pork versus chicken. You still got like, kind of like vegetables, I guess, in there. Um, and then you had like the barley, you had the rice porridge, and then 
potato, so different kind of median to deliver it all, I guess. Um, I'm not sure where the mushrooms are at necessarily, but yeah, you just kind of got like some diced, uh, kind of just like cubed potatoes. But uh, I mean, it smells pretty much the same, so let's give it a shot. I think it's gonna be pretty much the same as the last thing we just tasted. Ew. Okay, the potatoes is not not good with this stuff. If I had salt, it would be a lot better. Potatoes just generally are a lot better um, with salt. And just coming from, again, my American palate, if you will. Um, but yeah, it doesn't complement the pork nearly as well as that, uh, that barley did. But, you know, it is still fine. It's worse than the first two things we've tried. But it's still not bad, so I'd give it like a 6.67, 6, 6, I guess. Um, yeah, it's just, again, hotter, I'm sure it'd be, it'd be better as well, but that's, that's pretty much that. I mean, I, was, I didn't know what to expect with this ration, but like, at least with our 24-hour rations, there's a lot of like different things. I'm not sure if there's many doubles of anything. And with this, I mean, everything is kind of like the same. Every meal is like exactly the same, which is weird. I mean, you have like the variations of tea versus coffee, which doesn't really separate it too much, but you got the hardtack in all of them. You have like the really dry, crunchy bread stuff and you might get like a jam or the honey, which, you know, is cool, but it doesn't really work with any of that other stuff at all because they're both just terrible, like the hard bread and the hardtack. Just not good. But let us try this coffee and this tea and see if that is good. That freaking bread just made like so many crumbs. Um, the honey was good though. That honey freaking slapped. But let's see how their tea and their coffee is. Hopefully that's like a redeeming factor. But I'm not that optimistic. Okay, well that, um, that coffee was a fail. I don't know what was happening with it. Maybe just the packaging is not great and it just like absorbed too much moisture, but it was, yeah, it was fucked. It wasn't even gonna come out. It was just like stuck to the paper and it was just kind of gross looking. Um, but I got the tea. Uh, the tea does say 10, 2022 on it. So I think this is um, expired by like a year and a half, if I'm not mistaken. It looked like it was packed on 20, 2022 and then best buy or used by um october 2024 so it should still be good but um some of the item is here yeah questionable okay so normally with like the tea or the coffee or whatever i'll just use whatever was kind of in the ration but i'm trying to get something redeemable here um so i just added some some milk and some sugar to it so I gotta say, it's got a really nice color. This tea has some pretty nice color to it. It smells pretty good. So let's see how the tea is at least. Hopefully that's at least nice because um, yeah, they need something in here to, I don't know, just put a smile on their face if that's possible. Interesting. It's very smooth. It's a very smooth tea. So it's not like overly bitter. I steeped it for about three minutes. Um, but it's pretty smooth. Not a whole lot of flavor, but it's kind of nice. Again, it, I put almond milk in it and some stevia and that's going together really, really well. It's not quite like Yorkshire. Yorkshire has like a much more kind of like pungent tea flavor to it, um, which kind of, you know, permeates the actual milk and the sugar that you put in there. This is kind of just getting really mixed in to the point where it's like becoming its own thing, which, you know, I don't necessarily hate. It doesn't necessarily taste like tea, but yeah, it, it is good. I mean, yeah, I'd, I'd be happy to drink that, especially with like the kind of milk and stuff that I kind of did, but um, okay. The overall score for this ration though, uh, it's not going to be good. It, again, it was cool to kind of experience and try what the Ukrainian fighters have you know for their rations again i'm not sure how much they're actually eating these rations i think it's technically unless you do it through ebay or whatever or like get it through like a certain company or you have like the hookup you know 
Um, I don't know if it's even legal technically to export MREs out of Ukraine during like a, a wartime, um, but I'm not sure how much of the people on the front lines are actually eating these rations. Maybe in the trenches, you know, if you're kind of running out of food, you can get these. Um, but kind of from what I've seen, a lot of people are kind of just eating their own stuff or bringing their own stuff, which I understand now. But yeah, of course, if you guys are in Ukraine, um, especially in the Ukrainian military, let me know how much you guys actually eat these rations and also what y'all think about it. Because um, again, I have I have a very American palate and I understand that. I ha kind of have the self-awareness that some stuff is just not going to kind of appeal to that, if that makes sense. But holy cow, like having heart attack for every meal, no thanks. It's not It's not good for any meal, um, let alone all three. And that hard bread, uh, yeah, just weird. Um, the meals themselves were okay, that borscht. I need to get out of my like room because it's it just stinks. Not a fan of borscht, um, at least this borscht. And it, it's supposed to be good. I mean, it not expired, hopefully. I didn't actually check that, but... Um, I guess we'll see here in like a couple hours when it hits my stomach. But yeah, um, as far as the score, ah, man, I'm going to have to give it like a, I'm going to have to give it like a 3.1. And that's, and that's pretty generous. I think 3.1 out of 10, just not, not good. There was really not a whole lot. Ugh, actually, no, I need to give it lower. There's really nothing good. The tea is good. The honey was good. I'm going to give it like a two, a 2.5. <sighs> yeah. Which is unfortunate, but yeah, just not, not a good ration. Even compared to the Russian ration. I mean, I would, it was a smaller kind of like a one meal ration, not like a 24 hour ration as far as I remember. Um, but that would be, that would end up being more filling than this entire day ration because most of it is just like the bread and the hardtack. I just, I wouldn't want to eat it. Um, so I would avoid it as much as possible. And then you have like basically the three meals and then kind of like the drinks, half the drinks because the coffee didn't really work. Um, so yeah, just not, not great. I'll be honest. Um, not great at all, but definitely an experience. And that's kind of why we do these ration reviews. Um, it's not always about kind of enjoying the, the ration, you know, it would be nice, of course, but it is cool to get some exposure at least to kind of get us to better understand what different militaries are putting in their combat rations for their troops. And again, just kind of talking from someone who has spent seven years in the infantry, spent a lot of time in the field, um, spent some time on deployment, of course, as well. Uh, yeah, there's, it's very much appreciated to have something to look forward to in a ration. Again, it's not always, you know, at the benefits of the health of the troop, but definitely the morale. Um, finding some Skittles in a ration makes you pretty freaking happy when you're out in the fields uh, and when you're opening up these and you're just finding hard tack. It's not going to be too great. I'm not going to be too stoked about that, I'll be honest. But let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, let me know what you think about the ration. If you guys are not from Ukraine and you had a Ukrainian ration, let me know how it was, especially compared to other rations that you might have had. Um, but yeah, this um, it, it wasn't great, I'll be honest, but an experience nonetheless. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And before we close out the video, I gotta say mad respect to all the Ukrainian fighters, of course. Um, definitely try and support y'all as much as I can as far as you know doing uh, videos to kind of spread some awareness. Uh, of course, we have a lot of amazing companies like War Trace Workshop who are kind of doing their, their own parts. And it's nice for me to be able to kind of speak on that. Um, so I will put some fundraisers um, down in the video description for y'all to check out and consider. And with War Trace Workshop, I'll put that down below. But of course, thank you guys for watching. And again, if there are any other rations out there that I haven't checked out that you guys have access to, to either send me or, you know, of course, I'm totally willing to pay for it. Um, definitely let me know because I'd like to check out some other rations if possible. Um, there's a lot of cool rations around the world. I'm still trying to get a Korean ration and a Finnish ration. That'd be cool to, to try on the channel because I never actually had a Korean MRE when I was in Korea, um, oddly enough. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. That is it for this one. I'll see y'all in the next one.